The season may have finished, but the football action doesn't stop as the National Premier League Finals kicks into gear. Some of the finest teams in Australia fight it out for supremacy. After the disappointment of their preliminary final loss to the Bonnerig White Eagles, the 2013 New South Wales Men's 1 Premier's Sydney United 58 will represent the league against Canberra FC. As always, Football New South Wales has you covered with all the exclusive action as the inaugural National Premier League Finals kicks off with a bang. Let's go to the Sydney United Sports Centre now for all the action. The home side got off to the perfect start and had the lead inside the opening five minutes. Mijan Pavlovic had to watch on throughout the season as Luka Glavas set records, but he got one up on his strike partner, opening the scoring from a Glenn Trefiro corner. With Liam Reddy joining the Central Coast Mariners in the A-League, experienced keeper Paul Henderson was between the posts for Sydney United 58, and his hopes of making an early impression were dashed in the 20th minute but he couldn't control Adam Spalletta's long-range effort, which gave Canberra FC their equaliser. It would stay level until the break, and City United 58 would take control in the second half, and found themselves back in the lead in the 65th minute, as Matthew Billich fired home his header from the Nathan Sherlock cross. But just as they had hit the lead, Sydney United 58 hit a stumbling block. Daniel Barracks was shown a straight red card in the 67th minute for a reckless challenge on Daniel Bennett, ensuring the home side faced the nervous final 20 minutes. Sydney United 58 would dig in their heels and hold on well, but the visitors fired off one final chance in stoppage time. It just wouldn't be Canberra FC's day though, as the shot cannoned off the crossbar to assure victory for the hosts. City United 58 just hang on in a thriller at home, 2-1 at finish. While the 2-1 result gives City United 58 the ideal start in the National Premier League Finals, and I hope it will continue next weekend when they travel to Brisbane to meet Olympic FC. That's all we have time for this week's show. See you next time here on Football New South Wales TV.